Demonstrators here outside the Coast Guard Academy say there are a number of issues they're calling attention to, but mainly they're calling for an end to the war in Gaza. We're heartbroken and we're grief stricken and we're angry. As the celebration kicks off inside the Coast Guard Academy for the 2024 commencement ceremony, <laughs> protests breaking out outside the Academy campus. We are standing for peace and this planet, the environment, which is being destroyed. The group Veterans for Peace has been advocating for decades for better military policies and practices. They're also calling attention to the war in Gaza, demanding an end to the violence. This is a genocide. We're opposed to it. It's got to stop. Demonstrators say the U.S. is funding weapons being used overseas. Pro-Palestinian supporters from other states also coming together in solidarity. I'm here to just join these folks who are here marching for peace and standing for peace in Gaza and trying to encourage our government to reconsider its priorities of sending weapons that are killing children, killing women, killing innocent men. Protesters say they want government officials to focus on investing in issues that are closer to home. We're spending hundreds of billions of dollars on weapons and wars. We're not dealing with the environment. We've got students who are in debt. We've got a huge gap between the rich and the poor. They're hoping their movement sparks change moving forward. We don't talk about peace. We don't talk about diplomacy. We don't talk about negotiation. We're just, we're belligerent, frankly, as a nation, and I'm, I'm ashamed. The organization Veterans for Peace is continuing their protests in Washington, D.C., hoping to catch the attention of elected officials and our nation's top leaders. In New London, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.